Hello everyone, in today's tutorial we will see a really cool technique to remove uh, these uh, freckles in case you want to remove them or actually reduce them a little bit using Adobe Photoshop. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then I will take the image that we'll be using and open it in here. Alright, so the first thing that we are going to do is to make a copy or duplicate the image. So I'm going to press Ctrl or Command J and uh, let's name this blur because we're going to apply a, a surface blur on it. So uh, now before we're going to apply any blur, we need to convert this to smart uh, an object. So let's right click and choose convert to smart object and then let's go to filter and down to blur and choose surface blur. Alright for uh, the the values in here actually you it's depend on the image and the size of your of the image that you are using. For example this image is uh, in a very good quality so that's why it's better to zoom in here and see the the image and decide which values that you're gonna put in here and uh, the other reason that we we actually convert this to smart object because uh, we're gonna always have the the control of uh, of this so we can always go back and change this number to whatever we want so that's why I make a copy and actually apply it as a smart object so we can control whatever we do in here all right so for this i will just keep it around 50 pixels and uh, you can see that it reduces quite a bit and for the threshold i will just keep it around 18 or 20 in here so let's keep it 19 or maybe 20. all right so i will press ok And that's all what we're gonna do for this blur layer in here. Now I will hide it by one click on this eye icon in here. And then I will select uh, the original uh, image in here. And then I will go to the channel. So this technique actually, this is the main part of this technique. Is uh, this step in here. So uh, in the channel in here, we need to find the one that is showing the most of the highlight of uh, the freckles in here so for uh, most of the parts it's uh, the blue channel that has the most contrast in, in uh, the, the channels in here so what we're gonna do is to duplicate it by taking it and bring it to this plus icon and this will make a copy of it and then we're gonna apply a high pass filter on, on this so I will go to filter and choose other and I will uh, choose high pass and again for uh, the same thing for uh, the values of the high pass usually gonna find it around one or or two so just bring it up until you can uh, see the details of the image not a lot until you see the whole thing so somewhere around this part in here it should be fine because you already start to see the, the details of the face somewhere around here it will be good and I will press OK all right next uh, we're gonna actually duplicate this blur in a using a blending mode but of course we can't do that so that's why we're gonna go to image and I will go to calculation and this will actually uh, choose and merge the blue copy that we are selecting and make it duplicate it on top of each other and you can change the blending mode to whatever you want for, for example you can choose hard light which also give a very good result but uh, i always like to go with the overlay so i will choose it and make sure that the opacity is set to 100 and the blue copy is checked it will be checked by default because we have it selected but just in case make sure that is checked and press ok all right so this will create another uh, channel another layer of the channel 
So we're gonna repeat this uh, two times. So I would go back to image and I would go to calculation. And again, I will uh, keep everything the same and I will press okay. And I will do it again, image, calculation, and again, and I will press okay. All right, uh, at this point, uh, we only need this layer in here. So I would select these three layers by pressing shift and select the second and shift and select the other one and just delete them. All right, so now we'll select this alpha three in here. All right, now I'm gonna bring a, a brush or select a brush and I will make sure that the foreground is set to white and uh, I will make sure that the opacity is 100% with a 100% flow and I will start painting with white in the edges so I will start it from here and I will you know you don't need to be precise just make sure that you're not painting over these areas that we want to remove so I will just paint in here something like that and also in the hair you know all the areas that you don't want to remove the freckles from you can just hide it just like that all right so i will just paint everything in here and this part in here now we'll make uh, the brush softer and i will go to the edges in here and actually paint like that all right now we're gonna paint over the eyes because of course we, not, we don't want to select the eyes because we're gonna create a, a selection also the air uh, the, the air brows in here and this one in here and this eye too and the mouth and just use the shift method to make a quick selection like that and actually I'm gonna paint a little bit in the nose in here because I don't want it to be blurred because we're gonna create a selection as I said it's like that all right now I know that it looks not that good but it's gonna look better in a minute all right now after we finish covering all uh, the parts in white we're gonna press ctrl or command and one click on this alpha 3 and this will load the selection but now we need to inverse this selection so i'm gonna press ctrl shift i or command shift i or you can go to select and choose inverse and this will actually select the black parts in here all right now i'm gonna select the rgb and then i will go back to the layers in here and now we're gonna make this blur layer visible and I will just one click on this layer mask and it will apply the same layer mask or the same selection on the layer mask as you can see if I press alt or option and one click you can see the our selection all right now I'm gonna press outside of uh, the layer mask and as you can see this is the before and this is the after it's a very very quick method to actually remove almost all the the freckles or all the black points in here and of course we need to do some of them manually but it's uh, most of the work is already gone and that's what's cool about this technique all right so we need uh, to remove some of them in here so let's create a uh, layer on top and then let's just bring the spot here into and i would just Actually, I have the mode in here set to lighten is is good because it will remove all the the parts without like affecting the the lights or the or the skin details. So like that, and I will just remove this one and this one. Let me make it smaller. All right, I think it looks nice in uh, in overall. Now, uh, if uh, maybe you, you don't have a, a good result, you can just go back and open the surface blur in this blur layer in here. So you can just uh, double click on it and you can make your adjustments in here. Maybe if you want to make it even blur it more or maybe you reduce the blur 
or increase it if you want as you can see so you can see the preview in here this is the before and after but for this image I think it looks really good like that so I'm gonna press cancel and as you can see let's put these uh, two layers in a group by pressing control or command uh, G and now this is the before and this is the after and that would be all all right so I hope that you like and uh, enjoy this uh, quick tutorial uh, with this technique and you try it in your future images so if you like this make sure to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching